Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot and this is your daily dust for Saturday, November 5th if you're watching in real time but it is also a timeless reading for whenever you stumble upon it. I am though picking out my favorite decks gearing up for my birthday. So my birthday is November 16th and I'm choosing all my favorite decks next and not in any particular order but maybe yeah, my two favorite decks are the ones I created. And then this one, Star Spinner Tarot, is just so beautiful. I love it for the co vibrant colors, the artistry, the diversity, using a lot of um, same-sex images, and the multitude of lovers cards and fairies. <laughs> so I love, I love it for very many reasons. It's just, oh, and it has a, a really good book that comes with it too, with good descriptions. Very nice. Has a nice backing too. This one I didn't feel like it needed to be cut, the edges be colored because the border is white. I'm not usually a white border fan, but this one is fine. It's pleasing to the eye because there's a light, lot of white in the images usually, and so I feel like that makes it stand out. I just added my fingernail, like this one popped off, okay, and I forgot that this one still needs to be added, so don't stare at my fingernail. One more time. And we'll pull off the top. Okay. Let's see what we have. Alright, we've got... Ooh, nice. It's the Ace of Coins. Wow, money coming through, you guys. Stability, commitment. There's a little bit of that hint of commitment in my my weekend reading. So this weekend, I usually do on TikTok and I share it on Instagram. And I should probably, I probably post it on uh, YouTube as well sometime today. So we also have... The Ten of Swords. Sometimes I see with the Ten of Swords back issues, like oh, maybe you need to get an al alignment this this on this particular day. Some kind of massage, something with your spine needs some kind of adjustment, possibly. And I feel like you have the money to do it, so maybe you should pamper yourself. I also see like acupressure and acupuncture and tattoos, <laughs> back tattoos, okay. And then you have the um, page of swords. So this could be your therapist or the massage person or you or somebody you're getting in contact with, somebody that you're spending money on or somebody that's giving you money, somebody that's giving you some commitment and there's some honesty coming through. So let's get a little closer and see what else. What, what else comes out first of all this day is going to be lucky with the with the ace of pentacles here it's good luck and um uh, it's about opportunities and some kind of expansion in your income or sources of income or some kind of opportunity that leads you to more money and um it could also be about the contributions that you make, right? Things that you, ways that you invest in yourself or ways that you may invest in your appearance or ways that you invest in your health. And um, I think that you will see clearly more what you need in order to help yourself. Don't be too worried about the Ten of Swords because even if it is about endings or um, something coming to, into a closure there is a light at the end of the tunnel there's a new horizon the ten of swords usually will show a horizon line where you can see there's the next thing on the way and so I feel like uh I mean the ten of swords <laughs> I think I did I say ten of coins well you see that's what I it could be like it could be the ten of swords brings some coins somehow or that you're spending some coins to solve this Ten of Swords issue. So 
there, there is some kind of conclusion. It could hurt a little bit, and that's why I see things like, like tattoos because they hurt. Or it could, um, it could indicate some place that you that maybe you made a mistake and now you're learning and growing from it and you're like okay mistake made now I'm going to try again or do something different or try a new approach but because that didn't work out so well and since this is a daily reading it could be some like maybe early in the day you sort of had a defeated attitude or maybe you put some money and spent some money in something and you didn't see immediate results. But I think the results still will come, you know. I think you still will find happiness in, in the end of the day, by the end of the day. Um, so just accept, just accept and move on is basically what it is. Don't dwell on it too much because I think this is just a small little, if it's a defeat at all, it's small. It's a small little bump in the road and the bigger success of things. Because with the Page of Swords, it looks like you're really getting um, some good information, communication, some knowledge. Pages often represent schools, school, you know, the student and the ability to learn. And especially the Page of Swords, which is about the intellect. It's about being clever and intelligent, clear-eyed, you know. Um, sometimes, the, because Page represents, like, the younger people, it could be just um, more of a, maybe a naivete or a, a younger kind of enthusiasm to something, which is, happens, you know. Being in, young and enthusiastic, sometimes... You, you eagerly go at things and you trip a little bit. But I feel like this is also a person that could be, or you could be, like a, it's, it's a communication. So there could be a message coming through, somebody telling you about their true feelings, um, somebody opening their heart to you. But it may be, it may be in, in a way that it's not very poetic <laughs> because they're not cups. It may be more of a, a very literal kind of approach, a very straightforward kind of way. And it, you may not take it as a compliment because it doesn't necessarily, you know, like you're trying to figure this out. Like, does this, does this mean that this person likes you? Well, yes, it does, but they, they're not real floral or fluid sometimes in the way they speak or express themselves it'll be more because it won't be like poetic or musical it'll be a little bit more a little bit more direct and yet I think you should take these things to mean you know as something good and don't take it as an insult or anything and you know the ten of swords sometimes could be most of swords energy anyway is self-imposed a lot of times it's like being the drama king or drama queen you know it's like it's like t maybe taking things a little too hard harder than you need to so try to put things into context especially within one day because i feel the next day is going to be a whole new you a whole new situation and you're going to learn from um these your reactions on this particular day and realize oh okay well I got that wrong or I made a little bit too much of it or um, I didn't let it go fast enough I dwelt on it too long so sometimes there are things that you can let go fast of course there's like real hardships that we go through and you have every right to feel down about those moments in your life but if it's something simple then put it in context and put in it in perspective of the day because I feel like you, you know you are achieving something really great this is something new and it's financially good and the communication is great so this part is mostly I feel like these are like the details that you have to work, work through <laughs> but also it could be just simply you know um a back massage <laughs> anyway I hope you like that faith trust and pixie dust <laughs>